Hey guys, welcome back to Maxcast Stone of War Unification Mod for Soulstorm. This time I got a 2v2 for you. One side we have Lord of Skulls playing the Tau Empire. His ally is Kukai playing as the Necrons. Opposed by A. <laughs> <laughs> as Imperial Guard and our good friend Gepiar playing good old Space Marines. So it's Loyalists against Xenos, you could say. I am sticking to Gepiar's view because so we see if there is something new happening because Space Marines uh, I didn't show any new units yet. So we will see. Here we have the Necrons, Kukai being aggressive, placing a right from the get-go and it's probably gonna finish yeah before their own heavy bolter turret so that's uh, a good start for the next one and a bad start for the IG I'm always rooting for IG so don't don't uh, expect me to be non-biased or something once got killed that easily yeah but you need to get it first there, ah, there it goes. We got heroes available as well. You can see it by this um, little um, circle around. So he secured this um, area and tried to to go for the relic right from the get go. What else? Generators, a warrior squad, using the ability on the generators to uh, increase energy income Position secure. A little early skirmish here The scare is repairing Getting both back Some Necron warriors trying to help hold this position but not much success on that now two squads of fire warriors arriving and immediately meeting the <laughs> meeting the attendants of the melee squads but these Necron warriors are very good at um, just pushing you around in melee as you can see there just flying away so not a good um, unit you want to go in melee with to be honest Some worker harassment, but losing bleeding uh, models left and right, he should jump out soon. Yeah, so. Oh, he has the second one. That looks differently, but still. Uh, there is an upgraded yes, listening I post. Um, uh, just kiting and getting shot is uh, not the best option here. So, what do we see for. Tower. We have a generator which isn't finished. We have points not um, built up yet because he lost his workers. For Necron, we see no techs so far, just warriors, I guess. Ah, there we have the summoning core, IGs, some um, generators, and space marine. Yeah, of course, got the armory for um, assault space marines. now helping out his uh, ally, his unlikely ally. And there we have a push from IG. These are conscripts, yes. Two squad conscripts. You can see it uh, by the squad number, which is extremely large, right from the get-go. Uh, Lord does what he uh, does best, killing any everything living, to be honest. <laughs> Necron Warriors arriving. It's uh, quite a small map, so Necron Warriors, uh, their, their slowness, their slow speed isn't as much of a problem. I mean, you have the teleportability anyway. Okay, but he killed the uh, monolith, at least something. Huh? Losing Scardsmen left and right, losing their... What is this? Internals. <laughs> Alright, so we have what do we have here? 
and this thing post upgrade okay uh, turret as well uh, two less stuff too few stuff buying time for for the listening boss to get up. Now he has his um, auditorium in the back and Necron is not gonna fight. <laughs> Gepri is uh, harassing Lord of Skulls, the Tau player. Now we have the teleport ability so he must fly away with jetpack and trying to get um, some damage on the listening post. Um, Hi, ah, he also has his scout immunity yeah? and now some fate ones arriving. This should be the end of this little push, or at least at this position. Because once they are in melee, you don't want to be there. They have really big um, attacks throwing you around, morale decreasing aura because they are in <laughs> covered in flesh and skin, human skin. But he got the listening post up here and if he upgrades it immediately he has some sort of a defensive position here but not much units here we have tier 2 finished for IG and a mechanized command um, no tier 2 for Necrons yet uh, no tier 2 for anybody else to be honest so IG taking fast as I do not, not always with success or most of the time not with success, but it's uh, <laughs> because of my inability to play the game on this level. Necron's teleporting back to defend against... Uh, I don't know why they did teleport. Now he could push a bit, the uh, IG player. Necron's is pulling back, answering the harassment. Gen harassment. Um, this is a uh, way uh, quite a lot better if you are tier 2 and getting melter bombs on these guys. Um, not sure if he's going tier 2 yet. No. no resources probably, yes. Killing the workers is always uh, a nice idea because Necron building speed is really slow so he, uh, he needs to rebuild the workers, the scarabs. They A take a long time to build and B take a long time to get to a full squad of three, so always a good um, idea to kill the workers if you can't kill anything else. Now again, just running from A to B, from B to A, trying to harass with these guys, it's pretty much what you should do. But now we have some crude, uh, a crude squad here, which is good in melee. So. These guys get also chased, so it's these guys chasing the fire warriors and the crews chasing the assault squad, so it's a little party here. All the while we have the Tau commander here shooting and uh, listening post shooting, so I'm not sure if it's worthwhile to be honest, but um, at least it keeps the guys uh, away from him. There we have the cameras, a whole bunch of them. Now getting supported, now that's, that was a good shot, right? Uh, supported by their assault marine ally. A little push here. Question is, where do they push next? To the fire warriors, I see. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he is pushing, but getting... Oh, do we have a Basilisk here? Getting flanked, I want to say yes. Basilisk artillery support unit. Supporting this frontal push. The question is, what do they do with this push? Um, can they kill enough units to make it worthwhile? For now, they are really ch uh, chasing the Tau uh, with great success. Going to kill almost all his squads. But then there's the question what to do with these Necrons. And they have a AV now. And I learned recently that these Tesla carbines are a nightmare for light infantry. 
as IG is. Because they have like a chain lightning, chaining attacks, real big range chaining attacks, uh, at high number squads with low armor. Just a nightmare, I say. It's lonely uh, assault. Marine is uh, going back. A controlled retreat here. Quite uh, the force of the Necrons for now. Getting shot by Basilis, so at least holding at bay for now. The Necrons are marching. Getting attacked from different angles, but these um, Immortals are a real uh, problem. They should easily kill all the Chimeras in the world. The question is, how do you deal with uh, Immortals? Now that they have these uh, Tesla carbines, effect is against most targets, very effective against infantry, heavy infantry and demons, so they can be effective against everything. They weren't bad uh, at killing infantry in the first place. I mean, they were not designed to do so, but they could do some damage to infantry. But now they have these carbines and it's just madness. We have a push from the Necron on both sides here and a small push here. Uh, with the Necron Lord and another Immortal Squad, which, as you see, has a Hellhound, but um, it's gonna be a very short lived. Um, yeah, IG needs to e either focus the Immortals, which is difficult because they're Necron units and it's gonna revive and everything, or they need to switch to a, a more infantry heavy build, like taking up and getting uh, Kazakin and Hubrins. Is he tacking? No, but he should as uh, as soon as possible. I mean, you can hold uh, back with your normal guardsmen for a while now, but not that much. There we have a breacher squad. These are semi short range infantry of the Tau. We had in a previous video as well. They have access with their leader to EMP grenades and frag grenades. You could say like infantry and anti vehicle grenades. So. Very versatile, having uh, also the uh, ability to get some drones in the squad as well. Here we have a lot of guard here. It's quite a good uh, combination, having uh, the frail guardsmen in the back and the sturdy assault marines in the front. I really like it. Killing uh, quite a lot of stuff, decapping stuff. I mean, decapping is not killing the economy of the Necron, that's the problem with Necron. They always have a good economy it's, um, if you do not enter their base, that is. Played ones left and right by the, where they are needed. A model squad in the back. I like this map, it's really action packed and close quarters and everything. Now the um, assault space marines uh, get a little over their heads here. No range support. I mean, they're biding time, buying time to um, cap stuff. These Necron yeah, they, they are, are seen here and shot soonish. Yeah. And you are so frail, you need to be so careful where you place the units because a second later all your <laughs> models are gone. There we have this thing captured. So these are now normal uh, guardsmen because they have great launches and these are conscripts. Conscripts only um, get flamers and you get a tactical command. There we have the Necron Lord again placing his solar pulse and immediately forcing a retreat here. We have three infantry squads for the um, Kautzmann and three Basilisks. This is too much. Um, get one, maybe get two, but three is uh, a lot of energy invested which you could use to tech or anything else because these guys are 
helpful, yes, but very frail and energy intensive. I mean, you see, they they are good at uh, disrupting, not so good at uh, killing stuff. So, um, for disruption, you you don't need like two shooting at the same time. One, uh, they need to shoot um, one after the other, but it's hard to micro. So stick to one or maybe two, but not three. Now we have tier 2.5 with um, these two plates, which is uh, getting getting melt bombs too, which is a very quick vehicle of the Necrons, has also the ability to jump, um, mediocre damage but it's uh, relatively cheap. Here we have um, broadsword battle suit, they had to kill some vehicles but there aren't really, there's only this chimera which it's not shooting at, so, ah there's a sentinel, sentinel for killing the tomb blade probably, getting some shots to shooting guardsmen. Keep firing, keep firing. Now we have, who is that? The Necron Lord at the Basilisk. And the Necron Lord, if he got his, <coughs> I don't know what they call like his regeneration ability enabled, he's uh, unkillable. As I said, as I say, he just goes down. We also have some flayed ones and they should be just enough to kill this one Basilisk, which is worthwhile trade. These guys are really cheap compared to a uh, uh, compared to a basilisk, so Our there's one gun. Is most we are taking casualty. I mean, it's really annoying to play against uh, basilisks, but um, they are not gonna kill a lot of stuff. Question is, is he ground targeting or do they have um, vision? They have vision because of the. Critical location in the middle, it gets, gives, gives quite a lot of vision here. We have some sentinels here trying to kill this uh, listening post. We have a broadside battle suit uh, who, is, who has uh, different ideas of the sentinels' fate and should kill them in no time, but shoots the heroes. Now gets refocused and should die, kill these guys with like a few shots. Fast 2 plays also arriving here, not really the best uh, unit to fight against uh, vehicles. I mean, it's also an AV vehicle, so it's a bit of both. Now these sentinels get a bit over their head. Um, what I like to do, which is another thing which is, isn't probably optimal, is um, if you go mass sentinel, you can get auto cannons, which is pretty effective against uh, infantry and light vehicles, which is exactly what he, they are facing here. They are not facing heavy vehicles or... Um, yeah, they are not facing heavy vehicles. So, auto cannons are really good. But yeah, a lot of damage taken from that uh, attempted push. Necron is standing strong. So now let's uh, take a quick look at the uh, tech. We have tier 2. No, that's tier 3 already for Necron. We have tier. Path no, not another light. Path of Enlightenment. What are you doing? Tier 2.5 for Tau. Probably want to go to tier 3. We have. Oh, is this tier 3? Yeah, tier 3 for Space Marines, tier 3 for... This is tier 3, right? Yeah, tier 3 for IG. So they should get um, their infantry units or continue attacking. But uh, getting the infantry units is normally never a bad idea. He gets... He skips... Does he really skip? No, they are the Kazakhstan, but you need to get the Okrans as well. They are so tanky. He gets them the 
priest, I hope. Yeah, he gets priest, so... Priest increases the damage and movement speed of all units attached by 33%, which is a hell of a lot. Oh, we have an, an air push of uh, Space Marines. With some M speeder 10 pens and uh, Honor Guard, which is a new unit, I guess. Let's look at these guys for a minute. Honor Guard are like Space Marines with capes and one hand bolter and energy swords, looking a little bit like Grey Knights or so. Now we have four Locust Heavy Destroyer, so now, now Necron is pushing up. We have Death marks, which are really fast and good infantry units. What do we get here for base means Terminator. So tier three all along. Where are the opens? I don't see any opens. But once he gets uh, tier four, what can he go for? Actually, he can go for Lehman Russ, which is. No brainer, to be honest, for IG. And they still have the relic, so he could also get a Bane Blade. Here we have some three Barracudas, four, four Barracudas for Tau, which uh, most of the time don't seem to do that much. Oh, this battlefield, look at it. How much stuff we were these? Oriya, they look awesome. Jump in. These two uh, blades and killing all the basilisks with the help of the heavy destroyer. So, no artillery support for the guardsmen, no heavy infantry, except these Kazakhin uh, and the uh, Necrons are pushing hard. And alone as well. The tower is just um, moving in the back, but not needed. They have this new knob tech spider here, which is a really good close, yeah, melee vehicle, comparable to the tomb spider, but uh, I think a bit better. Yeah, nothing, nothing standing really in between Necrons and the IG base, to be honest. Tau is fighting here, in the middle of the map. Having way too many outside battlesuits, they aren't really good. Another one, they are really bad and on their own. They are good and supporting a Tau infantry line, but really bad on their own. Here we have a, a push of Barakudas, but are met with some turrets and listening posts and everything. And these guys, they are, I mean, they are fast, but they're not really good at um, dealing a lot of damage and are really frail. frail. So again, a unit which is not good um, by their own, on their own, uh, rather a support unit. And Necrons almost killed IG completely. Just a few squads remaining here. Their mechanized command is going down. Um, is he building a bane for I think he can't, right? Any second. Now he has no. Uh, yeah, the relic is not in his hand anymore. So we have the death march of the Necrons, basically, who is healed today. Tau got a really. Um, how should I say? Harris tried a lot in the mid game. He lost out of his squad and try to recover with some, let's say, questionable units. We have some deep strike <laughs> dreadnought trying to kill uh, the generators, which uh, should be met easily with the broadside battle suit. Lord of Skull does what he does best. Flaming. I have a really nice uh, FFA, which I would really like to cast, but there is also the Lord of Skulls guy, and, and there you see really pouring it on the flames. So probably not gonna cast that one, sadly. 
at the last stand of the IG against overwhelming odds. That's uh, a place I have been so many times. Um, yeah, no real way to uh, to win anymore because yeah, even Necrons there are, are just moving, and here we have some help of the space minions with some terminators. So really big help hero units as well. But uh, yeah, probably nothing they can do. I mean, Tau hurts quite a bit here with in the economy, getting harassed by uh, the good old Dreadnought Deep Strike harassment stuff, which everybody loves from Space Marines, right? Really bulky Dreadnoughts killing your base without you um, able to do anything against it. We've all been there, right? Yeah, but uh, no sign of Necrons uh, turning back here, so IG is a gun, it's a goner. So only the Space Marines remaining. They kind of dealt with Tau, kind of not, but uh, now they have a whole Necron army to deal with. Even, oh man, even the Nightbringer here. <laughs> I don't know why he I transformed in here because there's uh, no real big entity you need to take care of, to be honest. Except maybe the field command. <laughs> but okay, IG is gone and it's gonna be finished soon, so what is the... What's KPR in the hell Space Marines doing? Fighting honorably, even getting a land radar. Wow. Terminators, Land Raiders, but the Terminators are gone, aren't they? All the while Tower is probably rebuilding. Yeah. Having two <laughs> Path of Enlightenment, probably a mistake on his part. Mm -hmm. Second base. Okay, as a lot of Skull's choices are questionable, to say the least, but. Yeah, now we have Doomsday Arc, which is one of the oh, and the uh, and the size. What is it called Night Size? Doom Size. And one of the new relic units of the. Is it a relic unit? One of the new bigger units of the Necron. Having a battle, uh, an argument against Land Raider. Uh, I guess Land Raider is gonna win, right? It's with these flying uh, vehicles, they are really, really fast and dealing a lot of damage, but um, you need to keep them out of uh, firing sight. Even the Doomsday Arc has finished. Now it's the Doomsday next target of the Land Raider. I'm probably going to die soon if it's not going to pull back, but there it goes. Can be upgraded to summon in a really nice guys, isn't it? This? Yeah, these guys. He gets an upgrade so it can summon three units from the void, not the void. The I don't know, they have summoned these um Triarch Praterion. They're really nice melee units and they are free once you upgrade it. You can summon infinite amount of them, they're costing some supply but uh, I at least think they don't cost energy. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Another Doomsday Arc, but we built some Predators here with uh, last guns, which is not best against uh, infantry. But yeah, two we won, even a one we won right here, right here where uh, Necrons having their full arsenal basically available is yeah difficult. Necrons. Um, are really good now in this uh, unification mode in this patch right now because they have the new units left and right they have the ability to overcharge their um, plasma generators so they aren't as slow starting as they used to be um, yeah as I said a lot of new units like the base units um, Necron Warriors and you got these Gauss Reapers which also cause knockback I think but most importantly I think it's my personal opinion. Where are they? Are there any left? These immortals. 
models are too strong of a tier 2 unit. You can, then, can get them right with uh, a tier 2, build three of them, getting their um, Tesla weapons and just wreak havoc. Um, yeah, that's what my opinion is. Yeah, Tau relied too much on the wrong units in the late game, I would say. Getting a second base and a second uh, path of enlightenment, probably not the best choice to be honest. There he goes, tier 3 finally, probably a mistake with the second pass of enlightenment. Yeah, good game, nevertheless, really good game. Um, enjoyed it, like the Emperor's loyalists against Xenos. Sadly for the Empire, the Xenos won this day, but they will be revenged probably at some point. Alright guys, uh, as anyways, as always I should say, um, thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.